Sometimes I think about myself I wish I was somewhere else Far from my fear, anxiety Far from my weakness I could be gone, gone But I'm just afraid I refuse to fix the problem And I think I can carry on You can lie, you can try But you'd like to leave this feeling We've got to breathe, to dig, to leave the life we are dreaming. It could go wrong, wrong, but I'm just... Good morning, everyone. My name is Will, and today you're watching my cabin build series. I have a very simple mission. I'm going to take that pop-up camper, and I'm going to put it right there between those huge birch trees. I'm going to move that tarp and create this cool dry zone camp because right now I'm literally living in the woods. This is my camp currently. It's a tarp with a tent under it and I think I need an upgrade. So I'm going to take that pop-up camper and I'm going to install my off-grid electrical system. The off-grid electrical system is made up of a 12 kilowatt grow watt all-in-one inverter, eight battle-born batteries, 100 amp hour battle-born batteries, and six 100 watt solar panels for now I'll upgrade that a little bit later but once I have that dry zone and a pop-up camper I think it's gonna be a little bit more comfortable for me to live in the woods right now cabins getting built right back here in the bushes I just have to clear out some land I'm gonna rent a backhoe and dig out the foundation hopefully within the next two weeks or so so sub to the channel if you want to see me put that cabin up let's go build this electrical system I'm actually a little bit nervous right now because I've never pulled or maneuvered a trailer before. And what I have to do is I have to swing this truck through here and I have to bring it over here and then back the trailer up this way so that it lands between these two birch trees so I can do my tarp setup how I have it envisioned. So we'll see if I can get it there. Well, that wasn't pretty but that's right where I want it so I'm gonna string up the tarp to this tree this thing can pull out I made sure it clears that tree right there and then the tarps gonna string across this whole thing come down across here make a cool little dry zone I'm gonna get my car jack and make this thing level too well look what we have here so this is the site of the brush pile that I burned And there's some stumps right in the middle of the driveway that I need to take care of. Sweet. Now I can drive through here in peace. Oh my goodness. I wish I got that on film. But I was driving through this one particular area in my driveway. As you guys can see, it's kind of like, it's high up here. And then there's a little bit of a hill down to this like, this area from here to here is a little bit more wet than everything else and my car started sinking into the mud and so I immediately I immediately put it in park four-wheel drive and then I just gunned it I just gunned it out of there and just tore up all the mud and I am so happy I am not stuck in that mud right now <laughs> Sometimes I think about myself And I wish me the best But I just think I'm missing a voice and skills I must confess I'm speaking in English but I'm just It's been raining for two days and it finally stopped So I am, I'm gonna pop this pop-up camper open Get this thing set up Speak better, add a bit of fine rhyme to my letter On time like a watchmaker Check that out, ladies and gentlemen. That is the off-grid electrical system home.
after getting rained on for two straight days, it feels really nice to have a dry space. And now it is time for me to go get the electrical system and set that bad boy up. 100 amp hour, Battleborn battery, let's go. I think this thing specked out at 165 pounds plus 10 pounds of other stuff that's on it. So it's pretty heavy. Um, so I'm just gonna literally have to drag this over there. This thing is a monster. Kind of unsure of myself right now. Boom! Check out these two out wires I made with the crimps on the end. I just cut them with some cable cutters and then crimp these bad boys on here. Boom, those are all wired up. So we have four in series, four in series, and then a jumper right here and a jumper right here, which means these two rows are in parallel. And we had one casualty of war, my 250 amp, uh, fuse broke uh, physically in the car and so I have a 120 amp fuse that I'm just gonna put on there which should be fine for a while because I'm only going to be running fans and charging batteries so that'll be okay for a couple weeks until I get the proper one on there there's my breaker box I'm gonna wire that up I'm gonna wire these batteries to this system and it should be almost ready to go right here in the corner the ground wire runs across the ground and I'm just gonna put that in the ground terminal of the grow lot inverter Check this one out. I snuck a little, uh, there's a ground wire right here. I snuck it through the wheel well up there. And so I'm gonna drive this round rod, which is eight feet tall, into the ground real quick. There's a lot of mosquitoes out here right now. Trying to eat me alive. There's no wind. It's like 60 degrees right now. Love it. At this point, I have everything wired together. I have all of my inverter, I guess AC output right here into my breaker box. And then I have my ground wire connected. Under here, it's kind of hard to see. Um, but the ground wire that comes from the battery is on the ground terminal for the 12 kilowatt grow watt. That's also connected to a ground wire that I have to this bus bar right here. And this ground wire goes, sorry, this ground wire goes out to the literal ground. This one's on the grow watt. This one's on the inverter. So everything's all grounded now. The only thing left to do is to attach the hot to the hot of the battery to the hot of the grow watt. So this is how I do it. I literally, I take the hot lead from the battery and I have a 100 watt resistor. And so what this is gonna do is it's going to charge up any capacitors inside the grow watt so we don't have a surge current that damages something inside of there. So I'm gonna flip the connector switch on, but nothing's connected yet because that's just hot that runs through here, hot to the fuse right here. And I'm going to connect my resistor to the grow watt just to charge up those capacitors inside of there slowly. And I always hold it for about 10 seconds. I don't know how long you really need to, 10 seconds should be sufficient. Now I'm gonna just connect this to the fuse and then I should be able to power up my grow watt. Everything is all wired up and ready to go. One last check. We have two rows of series right here. Our ground is running into the ground of the grow watt. The ground is connected to our ground bus bar that is literally connected to the ground. The inverter is grounded. I made sure that all the inverter wires right here are connected correctly to this grow watt. So it should run first time. And so let's give it down inverter, which means it's gonna power the breaker box. That beautiful annoying beep. All right, it's good to go. Let's test out these outlets real quick. We are charging. Let's plug in a laptop too. There we go. 
we got that green and orange light. We officially have off-grid power. Now all I gotta do is move into this camper a little bit. I think I'm just gonna put my tent like screen mode in there. And there it is. I've got the mosquito net tent inside the pop-up camper. It's in there. I think it'll stay dry. I hope. I've got some blankets in here. I'm starting to move in. Um, electrical systems all good to go. Shoddy is in its home. I'm going to wire up the solar panels tomorrow. And then it looks like my tools are starting to take this shelf over here. I made a mess on the floor. I'm going to have to buy a broom. Um, sub to the channel, guys. Stick around. I'm going to build that sweet cabin over in those woods over there. So, yeah. Stay tuned. And I wish me the best. Oh my goodness, the sun is finally coming out after four days of getting rained on. And I'm gonna set up my solar panels to charge my battery bank. But because I'm living in the woods, I haven't showered for three days and I need to go find a lake to jump in to wash myself before I do all that. I also wanna go to a coffee shop and chill for a second, but uh, I'm, too, I'm too dirty to do that right now. <laughs> we got to breathe, to dig, to leave the life we are dreaming. It could go wrong, wrong, but I'm just a mess. You must be lonely, but you could be crazy if you keep looking down.